In this tutorial, we will make use of some useful tools in 3ds Max to create walls and simple buildings, walls and doors and other tools, stairs for instance, in order to create a simple building or simple uh, basement like the one we see here, level of building or as we can call it uh, architectural modeling. So as you can see here, we created all of these walls, not using box modeling and these doors and, and these doors have features. We will see while we are working. They can open, they can be closed, they have hinges, they have different uh, features and parameters. And we will create this based on something we call Blueprint. Blueprint is a photo you can download it from some websites that are provided for free or you can trace it with your own hand uh, on Illustrator or any other 2D application and then you bring it to 3ds Max as a guide or a uh, map for you. So let's close this render file and this is the shape that we will create in this tutorial. Let's close it from file and create a brand new file and we don't save. Before we start modeling, we need to change the view from perspective to top view. Then we snap toggle to grid point and we create from geometry, standard primitive, we create a plane. The plane parameters must be the same as the uh, file resolution, the image file resolution of the blueprint. So it's 500 by 500, okay? Zoom out so we can see it. Now we go to material editor and I will use this material. I will show you how to attach this. I will delete it and then from diffuse color, I will drag it, go to general bitmap and choose this house file bitmap here. Now I select my material and assign material to select to selected file and here if you if doesn't uh, if this doesn't appear for you you need to change from uh, standard material and you choose the realistic material with maps so you can see everything now let's start creating our walls which is the first uh, part of any building so again from geometry we choose aec extended and then we pick wall and we must make sure of the wall width and height based on our parameter here I will set the height to 100 and this will be the same height for uh, windows and I will set the wall to 5 as it is I will keep activating my snap toggle so uh, walls can look straight I will start from here We click and drag with left click. If you want to deselect, we just right click. So here I will right click. Now I create this room. Right click. I need to make these pieces for this room we start from here
what's left for me this part I need to make sure it's aligned and that's it that's it for walls and all my walls have height of 100 and width of 5 now I use the selection tool and make any needed modification for this file I don't need any modification all are set fine I will keep my snap toggle active and then I change to doors so I can start creating doors I will use pivot door and I will set the height to 100 width will be less than the wall the wall uh, width was 5 so I will make it 4 depth will be 4 2 here I need the door and by default doors open from inside so you should take care of this when we are creating doors let's select the store let's drag him just like that in the middle here let's open it to make sure it opens from inside or outside we want him to be opening from this side so we flip the swing and flip the hang we want him to work this side okay so we only flip the hang that's why it opens okay where else we need to create another one here so door pivot door pivot door yes pivot height 100 width 4 depth 4 and because the last one was open this one will be open too and can you, you can see here it's difficult for me to adjust the straightness so I activate the snap toggle again and as I remember my parameters I will make it every time from left to right I will drag it from left to right and now let's change we need to drag him then click then right click now let's modify him thickness 4 and let's push him just like this let's make sure it opens right yeah it works fine I need another door in this place here and same scenario dragging from left to right thickness 4 4 and height was uh, set let's set this to 100 and let's make sure this guy here set to 100 because we didn't write it okay here I need another door in this area so pivot set the height 100 4 4 and let's drag him from this side to this side now let's push him to position let's make sure of parameters height 100 and it opens as we want it if you want to make sure you're working fine just go to perspective to make sure everything is fine for you and of course we will change this material at the end let's get back to top view and create another one here and I want him to open this this direction 
so I make him from here sorry I don't need a wall I need a pivot door I will make the door going from this direction height let's make it 100 width 4 depth 4 and uh, it opens as we want it One hundred widths four depth four. Whoops. Let's raise the depths. Okay top view again where else we need doors we need one here so pivot door and this time we need to drag him here we drag him from left to right so same will, will be for here we drag him from left to right then we change parameters height will be 100 thickness 4 rail 4 and we can change this value so or maybe we need to flip the swing to inside we need another one here oops we go to pivot and we create it and it will take the same last parameters height 100 and he needs to be scaled on the x axis something like this I guess we made all the doors for this guy okay now final thing to do is to create stairs so we go to geometry and we use stairs here you we will use straight stairs for this front and we can create it then we can flip it as we wish now I need to change my view to perspective view and see those stairs they need to be rotated and then dragged to the front door and now I need to modify their uh, I need first to select everything and add a material oops uh, add a material to it except for this I press alt to deselect this uh, plane and then I will add this other material to them aside material to selection so I can see them better now for this stairs let's see what uh, what we have here we need it to be closed not opened stairs and we have these strangers on both sides let's change the lens we don't want it to get, get far and the width i want it less than this overall will be raised and the more it's raised the more you can get stairs let's make it a box actually not a closed one and here we can change the value of every stair I will keep it to this value but now as you can see door uh, we need to drag him a bit something like this the door is getting inside it they are overlapping so we need to modify the height of the store 
based on the height of the stairs. So stairs height overall rise it's let's make it 25 okay so we need to take 25 from this door so let's make it 75 and then let's drag him let's act deactivate this let's drag him up just like this and we, we need to open it more so you can see what's inside the house so that's it for this tutorial that's how we can use AEC tools, doors and stairs to create basic uh, architecture files. Of course, we will have uh, detailed architecture uh, projects and modeling and other DVDs, but this is for basic skills. And let's move to the next tutorial.